Yeah, Dante Valdez, you know, he's one of the top heavyweights out there today. He's, you know, he's definitely uh, a good puncher and has to reach at the height, has the, the ages on his side. You know, he's, you know, he's, he's decent. He's not, not, not bad. I mean, uh, we still have to see the heavyweight division get better talent, but there's only a, one or two decent heavyweights out there right now. I mean, Wilder is one of them. Would you want to Klitschko or would you get? Well, Klitschko, those guys, you know, one retired and the other one lost his last fight. Is uh, what, what do we say? Maybe uh, Wilder, maybe Luis Ortiz. I like to see that happen. That would be a decent fight. How do you think Wilder's going to recover? I know he's had uh, several. Uh, handed injuries to that right hand. I mean, I know they said uh, he's definitely out for the rest of the year. Uh, you know, when he, I'm not, he injured his hand in that uh, Chris Ariola fight. So, how do you think? How do you think it'll be a big effect? This is right hand, this biggest, this, this biggest shot right there. Well, sometimes when you hurt yourself in, in training and, or in the fight, like rather than the last fight, sometimes the blessing in disguise. So he, he'll take a little rest, but uh, he'll learn how to use the left hand a little bit more. So uh, before you know, he de developed the, le the left hand, the jab, and the hook much better. And you know, he got to use that more to be more effective because the right hand is hurt. When he comes back, I'm sure he'll be using more. You see a different Wilder using more left jabs, more left hooks. And then when he's ready with the right hand, you know, if he's ready, the doctors give him the okay. I've seen a lot of great fighters you know, have broken hands and come back devastating you know, after that. So you know, I, I don't count him out yet. He's, he has a great future ahead of him.